Bell appreciates cutting edge technology, but doesn't like to look at it. Hence the Dinosaur Man music discs and, is this your phone, brother? I don't make many calls. So his goal was simple, to spend every last penny of AMD's 5,000 US dollars on a sick tech upgrade that I wouldn't be able to find. I accept your challenge. No, all older or stolen. How about down here, Pokemon Ruby? My favorite one. Tech deck? You're not gonna find anything. What about this wireless communications device? Uh, Actually, this is pretty old. Yeah, it's got the new Wi-Fi 3. Aha! I knew I'd find something! Old record, but about a new video game that- Ow! Damn it! There it is! How is this hidden? You've got so much stuff! There's a pinball machine! How is this the stealthy upgrade? Okay, we're gonna figure that out. But first, we gotta roll that intro. AMD Ultimate Tech Upgrade is back, which means it's time for another giveaway. They're gonna be giving out three Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 7800 XTs. It's a great card for 1440p high refresh rate gaming with 16 gigs of video memory. All you have to do is check out our Twitter, which we're gonna have linked down below for a chance to win. Thanks AMD for sponsoring this series and for giving away cool stuff. In all seriousness, this probably is a good time to explain what's gonna be stealthy about this setup. My understanding is most of your upgrade is going to end up hidden inside the pinball machine that we definitely didn't accidentally break as we were bringing it up the stairs, Elijah. There's no video proof. You have no evidence it was me. That's true. You do have my track record though. <laughs> Did you really put extra holes in someone's wall again? After we get to his house. Did Elijah work on this? <laughs> what won't be hidden is all the stolen goods from the office that, uh, <clears throat> yeah, you're just trying to stand in front of it, really? I'm getting a collection. The fact that you're collecting it doesn't make it not taken. Mm, debatable. The UK would like a word. Backpack. That's not mine. <laughs> I think that one's mine. <laughs> that one's mine. Another LTT backpack. Also not mine. One Jonathan Horst, host of Mac Address. <laughs> I have no explanation. Oh my god, there's another one of these green water bottles! You have every size! Mm-hmm. There's no way anyone actually bought a HomePod. This has got to be from the office. Christmas party. I've got three pictures lined up in my house. This one's my favorite. Boardwalk. What the hell? It's in your bedroom? You gotta remember who you're doing it for. Well, not, not it. Like, who you wake up for in the morning. See, I thought he was talking about this one and I didn't want to acknowledge it. No, the top one. What? They're the same. Spot the difference. One's have been kissed twice as much. <laughs> hey guys, I know you're having fun, but can the first thing you upgrade please be the Wi-Fi network? Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's, <laughs> let's do that now. Oh wow, that'll be a big upgrade. We're going ubiquity with the U7 Pro Wi-Fi 7, baby. Can you tell Jake helped me with my list of things to upgrade? Yes, I can. The ubiquity fairy is real. To go with that, we've got a Unify Express. So this is going to be your router. Looks like an Apple TV. Uh, let's go ahead and do a quick before test. You have gigabit internet and this is your Wi-Fi? What are you doing, brother? Not downloading. <laughs> Question for you, this has only got two ethernet ports on it. One going to the ISP box, and then one presumably going to our U7 Pro. But Bell has a wired computer right here. Do we have a switch? We don't actually have a switch, but these can actually work in a mesh network. Oh, is this also Wi-Fi 7? Yeah, this is Wi-Fi 6. Oh. This is Wi-Fi 7, but they can run in a mesh mode. That sounds like an unnecessary compromise. I also have a switch. Bell has a switch. Bell has a switch, let's use it. Is this part of the upgrade? No. You just have a brand new inbox TP-Link switch? No, I just keep the boxes for everything. Really? Yeah, my closet's full of boxes and all my dresser drawers. You gotta keep boxes for everything. What if you wanna sell it? Oh, we're zooming now. That's okay. pretty much a gig. That's more like it. That is not pretty much a gig, but that is more like it. Let's go ahead and get the U7 Pro connected and see how fast this thing can zoom though. Linus wasn't wrong. I did kind of break it carrying it in, but we're gonna fix that right now with some wood glue. Kinda? Oh, I gotta siphon it. <laughs> Stop! What? It's not coming out, and if I bang it, it closes it. It's open. No, what are you doing? Oh, I see. Getting glue out. I just need a chopstick or something. 
Oh, we got uh, incest here. I have chopsticks. Incense, <laughs> sorry. Okay, we, we gotta get it into the crack. Yeah, it's in there. No. No, you had it in there. No, it's not in the crack. Yes, Elijah, I'm in side. the crack. Elijah, it's not in the crack. Oh. Do we just nail it in? Oh, it's in. Oh, is it? Yeah. It was me. Oh, it's smoking, unplug. What did you do? What I plugged back in yeah. to test if I could get it working was this cable uh -huh. and this ribbon cable. Okay. I did not touch anything else when plugging it back in and I saw the smoke coming from yeah. the bottom corner here. It's dead. This right here is an HDMI port, but this cable is not an HDMI connector. Do not plug into TVs. This is a pretty common thing, especially with smaller companies where they will reuse an existing standard port or cable because they know that it's reliable, but carry completely different signals or even power over it. And I think what happened is we created a power loop where we powered this board and then output power into this board in a way that it was not intended to be powered and fried it. The good news is Elijah's not actually dead. He'll be up in a moment. And we are going to proceed with the rest of the upgrade, and then Elijah's going to fix it. Yes. That will be his redemption arc, yes, and sir. we will shoot that at the end. Elijah, can I give you a task that has no electricity? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> can you please wall mount that AP? Also, hey, can we do a speed test on that AP now? Let's have some good news. I'm really sorry, Bell. <laughs> Dude, your Wi-Fi is bugged. 900 megabit, your ISP is fine. This is what I get for trusting Jake Tyvee. Now it's not... The frame, now it's the door. It's a frame, it's the, the frame TV from Samsung, okay? Chosen for its matte screen, clean aesthetic. Before this, I had an S95B. Why? Black rectangle on your wall, ugly. Matte artwork, <laughs> pretty. You didn't. I went from a 65 inch S95B to this 55 inch Samsung frame with the teak frame that goes around it. I'm so unhappy right now. That's more like Here it. we go. Oh, boys. Nice. That's pretty sweet. The matte screen is really nice. I got to give you that. Thank you. I just want you guys to know you're doing I keep great. hitting my head on this stupid wind chime. Stop. That looks flipping awesome. Let's get this cable managed a little bit. We got any LTT store cable ties? It's gonna go in the pinball machine. This is going in the pinball machine. Everything is. This shelf will not be here. What else is gonna go in here? The Apple TV, the computer itself. What? Yeah. Oh, I don't know if that's a good idea, you guys. Why? Uh, ventilation? Well, funny that you say that. We actually had Justin test fit everything beforehand. I was just about to pull this top off and you'll see what we solved for ventilation. We've got two Noctua fans in the front here, yeah. and then we've got one in the back, as well as an extra hole for cables to run out. Okay. I don't think that's gonna be enough. We did it like this because it would be like kind of cleaner. I didn't want to punch more holes through it. Well, you know what? It's a pretty minor thing to go in here after and put in a couple more fans. Okay. Okay. Cool. I mean, they're only fans. Realistically, we weren't ready to install this yet anyway, because that is not a Radeon 7900 XTX. Bell, do you want to get me your new GPU? Phantom Gaming. <laughs> Thank you. You're so welcome. Wait, what is this? This is a 3090. Yeah, you so. You already had a pretty decent GPU. I got the only thing better. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, I like your broken PCIe bracket. If there's anything wrong in there, it's Chase's fault. He built me this PC because I don't know how to build a PC. Well, here, why am I doing this then? Time to install a GPU. Well, there's a broken bracket in there. You're setting me up for failure. No, no, it makes it easier. Where'd you get this? Is this even new? This looks scuffed. Yeah, but Kierman again. You told them to get you a used NAS. I will put up the parts list right here so you can see. Oh, it's literally quite dusty. Yeah, it's got dust bunnies in it. It's... I mean, 12 terabytes of, you know, NAS drive storage. Also, did you feel that power button? Truly awful. That's what these feel like. Yeah, you have small fingers. I guess it, it's easier. That's this kind of switch. Well, no, you can't press it like that. You've got to use the thing. It's not for your thumb. Yeah. Well, while you're installing the GPU. I'm not installing the GPU. You're installing the GPU. Are you sticker bombing this? Sure. It's really good, though. Really fast. 
great for 4K gaming. I mean, what else can I really say about it? What else do you want out of a GPU? It's great for high refresh rate 4K gaming. All right. Holy, this thing is big. Is this bigger than my other GPU? I believe so, yeah. I mean, not that it's a competition, but yeah. It is and I'm winning. <laughs> oh, these are your stickers for the QNAP. Ooh, all right. I'm going straight for Bobby Hill. Yeah. I, no, I shouldn't because I want Bobby Hill on top. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. you can't plug it in yet. You're okay. missing, no, there you go. Can I plug it into a different one? Y you could, but I wouldn't. Why? Because that top one is PCIe Gen 5. The card's not PCIe Gen 5, but yeah. It's also using 16 yep, lanes good. directly off of the CPU. And so those are your fastest, lowest latency, bestest lanes. It's actually the first time I've seen the screwdriver, screwdriver shaft extension. Where can I buy it? Shortcircuit.com. Bell is the channel manager for Short Circuit, by the way. Yeah, that's why he's wearing the Short Circuit t-shirt. Oh, you're wearing Short Circuit too. Oh yeah, look at that. It truly is the best merch we have. I know you were feeling some trepidation before, but am I doing a good job? You've done five stickers? <laughs> You didn't even take off the like instruction thing on the side. Well, I'm gonna cover it. That's a sticker. All right. Balls. I will have you know I am taking so long because I'm trying to do a good job. And let me tell you, you certainly are trying. How's the computer doing? We're gonna post it right now and make sure it works. All right. <laughs> what the hell is that picture about? <laughs> why do you look so unhappy about the money? Bell, why do you have the official short circuit account on your computer? Resident Evil 4, great game. You can buy that, right? Uh, it, I have. Short Circuit sur has. Okay, I think technically you're actually not supposed to do that. Is there something Elijah and Colin can work on right now? Uh, I have a really big mirror that I can't hang by myself. It'd be great if they did. Is that part of your upgrade? Yeah, of course. You're just getting free labor. It was not part of your upgrade. Is it smart? Yeah, it's a smart mirror. What's smart about it? I could check that I'm looking smart. How many holes are you gonna put in it? Twice as many as I need to. <laughs> when I asked if you had mounting hardware, you just brought over a bag of everything that you've probably ever mounted before. Yeah, why would I throw it away? No, but I, I need the specific hardware for it. Uh, there's one. So it will not be good on the wall. So why don't you just use those anchor things? Because it's like really heavy and there's only two of them. Oh, no, there's three. What's the worst that could happen? I hope it falls on you. Okay. All right. Hey, 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 we did it. And I didn't drill any extra holes. Come on in, Belle. Take a look at your mirror. Wow. It's a little high. <laughs> it's really high. <laughs> it's not like an inch too high. It's like... <laughs> Six inches too high? <laughs> yeah. The best part is, okay. if you want me to lower it, you're gonna have two big ass holes in your wall. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> that's pretty on brand. <laughs> <laughs> We did a great job. That looks so sick. There you go. Should we maybe set it up? Yes. It should already be pre-configured. RAID 5? Correct. Perfect. That means he can lose one of these drives outright. Like just, you know, lose it. No, I mean, I mean if it fails. Uh, anyway, the point is that he won't lose any data in that case, and that'll leave him with nine terabytes of usable space. We were gonna put that inside the pinball cabinet, but then thermal concerns also, yeah. It looks great. So now it goes on a shelf? Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I thought he was gonna throw the camera next. <laughs> what is this? Membership. Nice. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I can read. I mean, does Samsung expect you to buy the TV and then buy artwork? They would like that. But luckily I take pictures, so I'll just use my own art. Oh, okay, cool, let's see. Uh, hmm. Good job. Did you take it on an iPhone 4? <laughs> Listen, this is helping because we have new camera stuff from Andy. All right, let's go have a look at the camera stuff then. Uh, you just got an Alpha 6700, is this good? Yes, I was looking at a couple different options because I want something that can do video as well as photos. We'll do both very, very well. And then I got myself a uh, fixed prime lens as well. Really? You have one good lens and you went with a prime? Yes. I do a lot of street photography. Okay, now, you, now you have to put I that was on leaning the... face down, oh, brother. His... Did you get his butt in it? Yeah. No, you didn't. You need to get yeah, a belt. Did. He didn't, I... I did pan over and zoom. Let's take a picture of the audience. Yeah, but that, that's not, that, that's not how that works. Don't you hate it when people take way too long to press the shutter? It's so annoying. <laughs> oh my I God, he that. finally blinked. <laughs> got him. That looks like it's on purpose though. <laughs> I also got a shotgun mic. 
Oh, wow, you gotta be careful. Don't keep that loaded. Wow, my head looks so small. I just have a giant head, no, I'm sorry. Right. Okay. What's up, gamers? Today, we're building a PC in a pinball machine, and we're gonna spend $100. Let's go. <laughs> if this computer doesn't boot now because you're finicking with it, it's going to boot. Watch. It's going to boot. Here we go. Do you want me to push the button? Do it. Here we go. Do it, you coward. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Pointless, but cool. What do you mean pointless? Why is it in here? It was his idea. Is that the theme of this? Instead of the stealthiest, it's the stupidest upgrade? No. Oh. Dennis's upgrade already exists. <laughs> okay, fair. The original plan was to actually have this in the top compartment here. The one connect box? Yeah, yeah. because we wanted the HDMI ports to be facing up. Right, so but that's really stable now, well, so. Well, I mean, it is if you don't move it. I mean, we can put it down here. There's just not a ton of room. Yeah, we'll put it up here, sure, fine. Wait, you're gonna VHB it? Like, just with tape? Yeah, because the only way it's gonna fit. I take no responsibility for this. I'm washing my hands, symbolically washing my hands. I may have found a solution. Wait, the glass is gonna be on? Yeah, it helps with airflow. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I was gonna say, how would that help with airflow? Yeah. It doesn't. It's not how it works. Then wh why do any computer case have glass on it? Dust. What? It's, it's because people like to look at their stupid RGB lights. <laughs> Bell, I would like to apologize for your upgrade being stupid. What's the plan for the one connect cable? It goes down to the radiant heater and then just up or? Yeah, that's how it was explained to me. Okay, and then what is the plan for the HDMI cable for the Sonos? Oh my God, you guys didn't think of this, did you? We have a long HDMI cable. Really? Yes. That's the plan. Yes. This seems to be screwed directly into the drywall and also the threads are totally stripped out of it. I can't even remove this screw. Uh, you just pull. If you unscrew the top one, you can just pull, yeah. I see. Yeah. Wow, what a good shelf. We're gonna need some cable ties. Wow, this looks like ass. We'll fix it. <laughs> fix it, Mr. Tech Tips. I can't fix this. I need a cable cover. Okay, cable ties. Hit me. You know what's funny is Elijah unironically did a great job of installing that AP. And I think we're gonna have to move it into the arcade cabinet. <laughs> Am I gonna get any cable ties at some point? Ooh, ow. Yeah, I deserve that. All right, while they're working on all that, I do have some miscellaneous stuff like the Quest 3. Now, I bought this. No, I just want to hear the reason. You have a 7900 XTX and you're going to play on that. So yes. I'd like to know why. So I love VR. I've had most VR headsets. So when I saw the Quest 3, I was like, there's my next headset. Mm. The only problem is, is I want it for AR. I actually want to learn piano a bit more officially instead of just knowing songs. And there's a pass-through game that teaches piano. No way. All right, let's see it. The only problem is, is that now I've tried the Apple Vision Pro and I don't think I'm going to like this anymore because the Apple Vision Pro is Awesome. Have you tried the Quest 3? Well, there's more to do on the Quest 3, so I'll give it that. But uh, yeah, see. the pass-through is not the same. It's that not. Apple Vision pass-through is insane, but yeah. this has games. Yeah, and this, you were able to afford all the rest of this stuff. Mm -hmm. mm. So the reason why I got the Ubiquity was because I wanted to do AirLink using the Quest 3, so I can play my PC VR games on this without a cable, and it uses Wi-Fi 6E, which obviously my $30 D-Link router does not do. Okay. So. So we'll see it. Just like that, I'm in the metaverse. Nice. Wow. It, 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 that didn't feel good. That was like motion sick already. Hands are really weird. <laughs> can you even? Well, can, it can, has to decide like what camera is showing your hands. So it kind of warps around. Okay. I, I, kinda, okay. Oh, I almost missed. But the hand tracking for like using menus. So none of the rest of this is getting wall mounted, hey? Also, you do know that you're supposed to have like six inches off of these heated baseboards, especially in the winter, right? Uh, they don't work. They don't work? No, oh. I'm just cold all the time. I see. Yeah. This looks too small for my head now. This looks like it's for children, dude. You know you have this on upside down, right? I don't. Okay, Bobo VR. Because this is the, it's just, this is wrong. They've sent me something wrong. Because look, at this is supposed to be over the USB-C cable. Hold on. One moment, please. Stand by. There you go. Now it's right side up. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a tech tip. Everybody gets one. <laughs> Can you tell what I'm playing? He definitely needs help with that. I gotta slow quest. it down. It's going too fast. 
How do I choose speed? Slow down, please help me. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't know that he was doing lessons right now, you'd think it was just some kid okay. at the airport. Just like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, this seems like user error, Bell. Can I try? <laughs> Wait, it's not lined up with the keys. Well, there's at least part of your problem. Every single one of these lines is at the halfway point between two keys. So then always go saying. to the right. And now the keyboard is here. Okay, fine. You can get a Vision Pro if you want. Let's go. Like, I'm not paying Thanks, for it. Andy. I just mean, like, I'll get it. I'll understand. Why. You'll get it. Let's go. No, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hey, you bought some records, huh? Let's change oh, the subject. Oh, yeah. The first one you've seen, I kind of got it as a gift to you from you to me to symbolize when I beat you on the Black Friday stream. Oh, yeah. I got you this. How much do you think I paid for it? I don't know, 30 bucks? $400. I also bought this limited edition numbered 121 mint copy of Empire of the Sun, Walking on a Dream. And how much do you think I paid for this one with the lenticular display? More? Yes, but only very slightly. It's also pretty much $400. He spent 20% of his budget. Yeah. Wait. I also went over by about $500, so I pretty much just bought <laughs> one of these. You guys. bought, wow. So you actually spent $500 of your own money to meme on me. Yes. Hey! Yes! Where's your Bluetooth? Oh, it's over here. Okay, also we need networking. Oh, it's coming out of the TV speaker. Is that a here problem? Here we go. No. Here well, it we go. Be coming out of the TV speaker. What's it supposed to come out of? The Sonos. Is it supposed to look like this in here? <laughs> How do I plug stuff? That's why you wanted to move it close to the wall before anyone got a chance to look in there. Yeah. How do yeah. I we plug still have to put in. this in? No, I already have an Ethernet in there. Where? Well, where, where is it? Where's the white it one. It's not going to reach, Elijah. Oh, crap, you're right. Ah, oh, damn it. I also got an Apple Watch. I got this Series 8 uh, 45 millimeter. We only, it was from inventory. We only had gold, which I is not my preferred color, but... It does look pretty slick, and I do VR in the mornings. I mean, we got a gym membership through work now, so maybe not as much, but it'd be good to track my heart rate, see how I'm doing. I also got an expensive coffee grinder. I spent about like four or $500 on this, so I can make espresso. Espresso. Do you need $400 of grinding to make espresso? Honestly, for a good grinder that can do espresso and pour over or anything like that, you pretty much are spending hundreds of dollars, unfortunately. <laughs> Honestly. Every time I do it, I get so mad. There, Elijah, you happy? Uh, Linus, I haven't I haven't been happy in about 25 no, years. Hey! Perfect. In between all his chit chat, Colin managed to get one thing done today. He built this ottoman. Colin. No, it's for this. Oh. Oh wait, what's it for? <sighs> oh, is that new? No. But this goes with my other, well, I guess the other final couple objects. No. Oh. We have. A pillow. a pillow. A lumbar pillow. If you want to put that together, I'll grab the other last thing. It's from Doos and Doosin, which means it's art. It matches my uh, uh, tissue box. How much is this pillow? I paid 80 US dollars for this pillow and uh, cover. People say our screwdriver is overpriced. Well, both things can be true. <laughs> if I win, I get a bigger discount on the Apple Vision Pro. <laughs> We're not even selling the Apple Vision Pro. Whoa, it went from okay, you could buy it to not that big of a discount to not selling? I don't think I ever said any of those things. 530 frames per second. Let's go. Go away, rat. Okay. Oh my God, stop bothering me. Final leave. Not you. Surprisingly, even with the game running over there, this is uh, not loud. I guess that's what a layer of MDF will do for you. Oh yeah, those intake, intake fans are working though. A few moments later. We're back. We got Bell an actual arcade cabinet this time instead of the pinball machine. So upgrade, I don't know. It still has the, actually the pinball buttons on the side, which is pretty cool. So you could play some pinball games. Made by the same company, has way more room to fit the computer, the One Connect box and the Apple TV. As well as we ran an extra HDMI cable out the back in case a friend brings over like a Nintendo Switch or a PS5 or something or if a friend comes over at all. But, you know, are you okay with the arcade cabinet? It's like, you know. Uh, we also did some cable managing <laughs> and I had some other things show up, but uh, I think all we have to do is game. Yeah. Make sure it all works. Yeah, let's game. Make sure everything works. And he's happy with the arcade cabinet. 
You know, now that I'm sitting down, Bell, is this really the optimal sitting and gaming experience with the TV all the way over there? I mostly just watch NBA. But again, I don't want my TV to be the center of my living room. Like I'd rather sit across from my friends here in the camera and have a conversation with them than like watching TV. I see. So the but TV no, is I'm, definitely second. I'm purposely like this all the time. Say hello to my big friend. Mamma mia. Now that's a spicy meatball. We actually scaled our game down to 1440p 120 because Bell only has an HDMI 2.0 cable. Well, I wouldn't blame the cable. It's actually the TV itself is only HDMI 2.0, which I know. It's not great. It's a great TV. It is a fault though. Uh, so you can either do 4K 60 or 1440p 120. Why again did you change to the frame? Every point you keep bringing up is making me wish you didn't change. It looks so good when it's off and I want my TV to be <laughs> off. <laughs> Big black triangle is ugly. Oh, so, uh, okay. Ugly. Well, anyways, we're playing Cyberpunk at 1440p with pretty much everything maxed out. We have motion blur off and we're averaging, it seems like 110 to 120 FPS yeah, in game in some busy areas. It looks really good. Yeah, I really feel like I am a Cyberpunk 2077. I gotta say, this didn't go according to plan, but I am pretty happy, so I just wanna say, Thank you, AMD. Thank you, Elijah. I forgive you, man. Thanks, buddy. Thanks so much for watching. If you wanna get your own 7900 XDX, we'll have a link in the description. And uh, who's AMD upgrade should they watch next? Adam, but CW Adam. Oh yeah, his retro stuff was awesome and Taylor Swift's in it. Yeah.